Hi folks, this is Max from uh, RootGalaxyNote.com um, So for those of you who want to get uh, pure Android 4.2.1 uh, There is CM10 Nightly's, uh, this is what I'm running on my um, Note 10.1 uh, This is the Wi-Fi version, GTN8013 It's also available for 8000, uh, uh, GTN8000 if you have it um, actually pretty solid out of the box. Uh, these are the Nightly's and uh, the camera. You do get the Android 4.2 camera. Um, camera works fairly well. You know, it's nothing to be bragging about. Uh, but it works well. Uh, for photos, it's a little bit... Here we go. If I take it, it takes a little while for it to take the next one. Um, but you can switch back and forth like that. Take another photo. Uh, there's the Korean flag. Anyway, um, pretty cool stuff here. And uh, let's go to settings here. Um, you get the standard uh, about tablet here. Uh, you'll see that it's standard Android 4.2.1 as you can see there. Uh, sorry, I'm over at my mom's house if my camera doesn't pick up some of this stuff. Uh, that sucks. But uh, it is multi-user. Let's go ahead and make a separate user. Now if you have kids and uh, they use your tablet a lot you know you have you got your email there you don't want to mix mix uh, mix it up you can add a new user add a new user uh, set it up now and uh, go ahead and set it up and there now it's a new user and boom you got uh, another setup here um, you can set up you know your uh, user account for your daughter your sister um, your brother your mom your grandpa now you can, uh, you know, let's just do mom here. Uh, now you can set up your Note 10.1 for to be used um, by all of your, everybody in your family. And to log out, simply, um, very simple, go to the lock screen, go back to the owner. And uh, you can even set um, different, you know, different uh, sec screen security for each one. Um, so you don't want your brother to go into your sisters and, you know, your mom to go into your dad's or whatever and uh, you do get the standard uh, stuff here with the CM 10.1 um, you can change the grid size I mean you get a ton of space here uh, but you see there's some space between the uh, apps there so you can probably afford to go uh, probably like at least seven rows let me try that now you'll see that uh, well you know what can I put it there now Let's try that again. Oh, you know what? That's the uh, that's the launcher. Uh, yeah, that is the home screen. Why does it do that? Let's try seven by seven. And number of home screens. Um, stretch, expand. Um, you can do that too. And let's see what happens now. There we go. Well, you know what? Actually, it, it, you can put more now. It's a lo little bit less. Um, you might want to get Nova Launcher for that. I like Nova Launcher over that. Um, so go ahead and get that over this. I don't really like this launcher as much. Uh, system status bar. Show notification count. This will show you how many emails you have up here. Can you see it? Yeah. Uh, and uh, let's see. Uh, quick setting panel. Navigation bar. Clock widget. Um, you can set up a weather widget if you want. Set up a we weather widget here. Let's do, uh, let's do Seoul, Korea. Alright. Ah, it doesn't want it. Let's just do San Francisco. Oh, hold on a second. Alright, let me set that up again. Uh, weather panel. And let me do Seoul, Korea. Alright, that's set. Uh, I don't want metric. And my weather panel set up. Um, you can pull your calendar events from your Gmail or your favorite uh, email calendar thingy. <laughs> Alright, and that's done. And let's go back to the, our lock screen. Now, in, with Android 4.2, um, you will get a bunch of widgets you can put, which is nice, especially the tablet version, just like a Nexus 7 or Nexus 10. Um, that's kind of the whole point of this ROM that, you know, you can make it like uh, Nexus 10. 
uh, let me put the calendar widgets there and then uh, let me put the Kronos widget this is the widget I just made in those settings there and you can add as many widgets you want um, this is great for uh, being able to see everything you know without logging in um, you know let's say you just want to check if there's an email um, check it uh, let's actually put Gmail here and then you know you can turn off your tablet uh, without having to unlock it and you can also switch users there so that's kind of cool and uh, other than that um, you do get the standard you know pure Google Android uh, system here and um, you know what we will be looking for is um, like AOK PROMs that allow you to do more stuff and also Paranoid Android and also Jelly Bam all those ROMs um, they might be coming to the 10.1 I'm not sure uh, how the development is uh, but it should be coming here eventually but in the meanwhile you can try this pure Android 4.2.1 and also this ROM over the TouchWiz you can actually charge your tablet uh, with you know uh, your your laptop USB you don't have to have an AC charger you don't have to have a high powered um, charger uh, but looking pretty well pretty good and uh, for performance you'll want to um, ooh there's no performance app. and also there's DSP manager uh, for your sound but pretty stable ROM for nightlies I mean there there will be it's, this is the official version so there will be an official stable version um, whoops yeah. so this isn't like perfect and this isn't for everybody uh, for those of you who use your tablet often you know maybe you do need the multi window feature on the um, the regular TouchWiz and also TouchWiz uh, Jelly Bean has been announced for the Wi-Fi version N8013 so I'll have a uh, I'll have a brief review of that soon also uh, but I just want to give you more choices for those of you tinkerers um, who want to stay on the bleeding edge of Android definitely you can try this one out uh, pretty easy to install um, I think you can just install the ROM and you should be good to go and I'll include the G apps just in case you need it uh, if you don't see the Play Store just simply boot back into recovery and install the G apps but use the files I provided uh, because I removed the certs for it um, the one that you download from CM site they have a certs so sometimes if you're using uh, like the recovery I made high on Android clock or my recovery it might not work but that's just an assert so I, remo I removed it for the one I use um, so you can easily install it try it out let me know you can always make a backup of your current ROM um, just to try it out you know and then go back to your ROM you know um, so it's not a huge deal but uh, you can turn your Note 10.1 into like a Nexus 10 sort of <laughs> anyway thanks you guys for watching this if you have a Galaxy Note uh, note 10.1 don't forget to sign up for my email list at rootgalaxynote.com and also note 2 it's all at galaxy uh, galaxynote2root.com and uh, if you're on YouTube please hit that like button for me here subscribe button down there and uh, this is again available for both the N8013 Wi-Fi version and N8000 the uh, 3G version so check it out and see you guys later stay high on Android